Skyler and Manti. Manti and Skyler. Two student athletes at Notre Dame who arrived at the same time, depart at the same time, and you know them by their first names. They are the rarest of things in collegiate sports. A student athlete who so fully represents the values of the institution at which they studied and played. These two remarkable student athletes who reflected our commitment to excellence and faith and community and family have brightened this university for four years. That's why we asked Kate Sullivan, a Notre Dame grad and Chicago news anchor, to sit down and help us gain some insights in two very special people. When you were in high school, I know you said that you felt like you were going to do this. You're getting better and better. Uh, the idea of Notre Dame was a dream. Uh, for you, you were recruited by a lot of different teams. So Notre Dame wasn't exactly the ultimate goal, Correct. right? Yeah. Um, who were you recruited by? I had gotten over 100 offers. Oh. Um, and it came down to Notre Dame and Stanford. As a kid, you think about, you want to go as far as, from home as possible, sure. you know what I mean? <laughs> and um, my parents were like, just sleep on it, you know, just sleep on it, Sky. And I was like, all right, but, you know. And I woke up like, what am I doing? I'm going to Notre Dame. And it was just like that? It was just like that. What about you? What, what was it about Notre Dame that made you come here? Uh, to be honest with you, I had to pray about it, you know. Um, I grew up a USC fan, die-hard USC fan, and all the way up to the day before signing day, I was going, I was going to go with USC, and then uh, you know I sat down and I really prayed about it, and you know things just happened uh, where everything pointed towards Notre Dame, mm -hmm. and you now I learned being young and learned from my parents that you know whenever you're looking for an answer to a question and you ask the Lord, it's not the hardest part is not praying. The hardest part is taking whatever answer he gives you and actually going through with it. Mm -hmm. And so obviously Notre Dame wasn't the choice that I wanted, mm -hmm. but it was a choice, it was the answer that I was given. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, it was a leap of faith for me. Sure. Now that I'm here and I'm with Skylar Diggins, <laughs> you know, I, I you guess that I get, right choice. I know, thank you, Heavenly <laughs> Father, you know, so it was good. What's it like for both of you on campus? People know who you are. Uh, they they, they want to know you. They want to be your friend. They want to say hi. Um, I talked to someone and it said, oh, Manti knows my name. You know, that, that that's really must be a lot to process that you have that kind of notoriety on campus and that people want to be your friend and want to have a connection with you. How do you handle that? I think, you know, you just gotta remember that you're just you're you're a student. Mm -hmm. You know, it, I think for other people is that it's harder for them to realize that that you know we're just like you. And mm -hmm. you know, we we're, we're, we're although we play, she plays basketball, I play football, and I'm going to the same classes as you. I'm learning the same things, and I'm walking the same sidewalks. You know, like we're we're, we're exactly the same. So I think you know when when people start to realize that you know it's it's not that big of a deal to us. You know, we mm -hmm. we want to be your friend too. What do you do for escape? What's your fun time away from your individual athletics? I love to travel mm -hmm. um, and, 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 and go and see things. And, um, you know, I, I love music. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really my escape, you know, um, from things. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I go home. You know, I go visit my grandmother. I go visit my mom. I go have lunch with my little brother and um, I think that's how I, I can get away I don't want to say escape because it's not like we're like chained in here like right. in a cave no. you know unless it's finals time right. um, I get it but just yeah. have fun and not just, have to, yeah, not have not have to, to worry about, about yeah. other things what about you me I'm I'm kind of just a chill dude you know I like to stay in you know I, I like to just lay in my nice comfy bed and you know watch you know all my Netflix you know that's that's me and when my family comes in, you know, that's my time. Mm -hmm. You know, I, my family's at, you know, Eddie Street right now, just going around eating chocolate and stuff. So <laughs> I'll be over there in a You're little bit. To yeah. hang out with them, sure. And so, you know, any, like how Skylar said, you know, family time, that's the best time. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when I'm not with family, I'm usually in my room watching Netflix or just chilling with my guys playing Monopoly or something, Very which good. I will be. Scotland and Monopoly. You know, <laughs> that would be something to I see. Will, so That's what we should have had you do, is play Monopoly against each other. I'm telling you. Anything, have you ever played in anything? Nope. I mean, I would beat you in Monopoly. No. <laughs> 
we're gonna play something that I want to play too. <laughs> what? It can't be basketball. No, we have to. We know. We know you can't shoot already. We saw all right, that. All right. All we right. Know, I know that. You know what I mean. Take me to a carnival and I'm with a big teddy bear at a basketball game. I'm telling you. Oh, he's not gonna beat me in Monopoly. And that's the end of that. Like we have to find something that I want to play too. All right, deal. <laughs> Let's competitors. Talk about, yeah, competitors. Let's talk <laughs> about how tough the athletics, uh, the academics are here. How hard are the classes here, and how have you been able to try to strike a balance between your your working two ends? How hard are they? I think you know it's 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 really difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you don't choose Notre Dame knowing that it's going to be a cakewalk. You know, you choose Notre Dame knowing that you're going to learn, mm -hmm. and you're going to have you're going to learn, and you're going to enjoy the experience of learning. And I think for Skyler and I, and you know all the athletes out there, is we're fortunate to have um, ath academic advisors. You know, uh, for me, it's Adam Sargent and Colleen. Mm -hmm. You know, they uh, are they the same I for you? I went to school with Adam. Yeah, Adam was my year at Notre Dame. Yeah. Oh, nice. See, yeah. without those guys, you know, it, our transition, our experience, our learning experience would be very difficult. Mm -hmm. But because we're so fortunate to have those people there that really, you know, have our back, you know, they're really looking out for our best interests, you know, it, it, makes, it makes that a lot easier. Yeah, you have so many people that want to see you do well here. Right. They want to see, they're on your side. Mm -hmm. And I think when we realize that and I just, so, oh, you know, my profs are hard on me, they don't understand, <laughs> you know. Well, they, they do. Our right. academic advisors do because that's who they deal with. They, they deal with athletes and they have been dealing with athletes for years. You're from South Bend. You know what a South Bend winter is like. <laughs> you, my friend, are from Hawaii and yes, probably had no idea. How difficult was that? Just the weather alone. If you would have rewinded it about three years ago, my freshman year, and you'd see two boys one about 6'2", and one about 5'9", me and my best friend Robbie, with towels over our head, walking in the snow, lifting the towel up to just make sure we're not gonna hit a car, then going back down. That's, that's how it was, you know? It's like, it was another experience. Right. And it was an experience I wouldn't trade, um, because to be honest with you, I won't, I won't have another winter here. Yeah. You know, I, after this, after December, I'm gone. Mm -hmm. And um, I look back at those times and Man, I would walk through another five o'clock workout because that's, that's, that's this place. It comes with this place, you know. And you knew what you were getting yourself into. As you said, Stanford was, you know, you were going back and forth. You said, maybe Stanford, that warmth. Oh, I should do that warmth. <laughs> yeah. And then every morning you probably woke up and said, oh, why did I pick Notre Dame? And then it's just like, you know, who doesn't want a white Christmas? You, know, you can't have a, you can't not have a white Christmas. Um, but yeah, it would have been different. I think it would have been very different if I would have went to Stanford and. I, will, I probably wouldn't know what to do, like Manti, you know, like, no white Christmas, I'm going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> how great is it to be so close to your family, and how difficult is it to be so far away from your family? Um, I use them as a crutch a lot. Um, I think that's a benefit um, that I get from being so close. I get to do a lot of the same things. Um, obviously, my time is a little more, I don't have as much time, um, but I can, I, I do if I want to. Um, the the actual um, what, what am I looking for the exactly. opportunity mm -hmm. excuse me to go home mm -hmm. every day if I want to yeah you, you could know go home I mean? every day I go home right after this right. if I want to and um, at first I kind of struggled with that because I was like you know mom I don't want you coming and checking on me sure you know, I want to be growing you want up your campus experience yeah, yeah I want my campus ex I want you to be a part of it but come to my games all the time, you know, don't try to come and like, but as I got an older and, and I appreciate that, them being so close and I use them as crutches, like I said, when I want to get away and what have you. What about you? So far away. Yeah, it's difficult, you know, but it makes our just interaction that much more special, mm -hmm. you know, when I see them, you know, I, you know, Sky sees, sees her parents at the games. I see my parents at, you know, at a few games and, and I think Skylar can say the same thing to see the, the, the people that sacrifice the most for you on your behalf to, you know, put you in this situation to put you in this in this in this position to, you know, live your dream. Um, and to see them in the stands and to see them, you know, see the joy in their eyes, that's that's what makes the whole distance thing, you know, kind of bearable. Oh boy, here we go. Here we go. No tears. No tears. A linebacker. Round one. 